Long lines greeting some eager voters on the first day of early voting in Illinois. It's my duty. Uh, it's my duty as a voter. President Trump a motivating factor for some to wait nearly two hours to make sure their ballot was cast. I would walk through glass and hot charcoal and bare feet to make to make this election. I want my country back. But it's not just voters focusing on ballots for the 2020 election. Some of the biggest names in politics are also flexing their political muscles. Former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is offering grants to reopen polling places supposedly closed because of budget issues. Former Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg raising more than $16 million to pay off fees for roughly 32,000 felons in Florida, allowing them to vote this November. The state's attorney general wants an investigation to see if he illegally enticed voters. We have to have trust in our elections process. With just 39 days until November 3rd, two dozen states already have some form of voting underway. 2.3 million absentee ballots have been requested in Michigan. That's nearly half of the total votes cast in the state in 2016. And while President Trump has been repeatedly blasting voting by mail, FBI Director Christopher Wray told lawmakers this on Capitol Hill. Now, we uh, have not seen historically uh, any kind of coordinated national voter fraud effort uh, in a major election, uh, whether it's by mail or, or otherwise. Meantime this morning, new details on a Justice Department investigation into potential mail-in ballot fraud in Pennsylvania, stemming from nine military member ballots in Luzerne County that had been discarded. Investigators finding the ballots had been improperly opened by the election staff. Seven of the nine ballots were cast for President Trump. Election staffers say they opened the ballots by mistake because the envelopes look similar to those used for absentee ballot requests. The president using the investigation to take aim at the process. So uh, we have to be very careful with the ballots. The ballots, that's a whole big scam. The announcement of a federal investigation with partial details this close to an election is in and of itself unusual, but so far that investigation is indicating that this was a single isolated mistake and not the kind of widespread fraud the president sometimes talks about. Savannah. All right, Garrett, thank you. And a reminder, we've rounded up everything you need to know about voting options state by state. You can take a look, nbcnews.com slash plan your vote.